This is probably the most unique meteorite that I've ever held. It's a lunar meteorite. It came from the moon. But the unique thing about it is that it's actually red inside, and it's the only one like it. Let's take a closer look. According to the Meteoritical Society, there have been a little over 700 lunar meteorite discoveries on Earth. So in the world of meteorites, it's not entirely uncommon to find those. But this one is definitely a one of one, and that's because it's red inside. When we think of red rocks, we think of Mars, but in this case, it's actually a lunar meteorite that's red, and there's some interesting ideas about what might have changed the color of it. The leading theory from the researchers performing classification work on the stone is that it was hydrothermally altered. And what that means is that water effectively altered the color of the stone. In this case, it turned the olivine, which is normally a yellowish green color, to red and to quite a serious extent here. We've seen other lunar meteorites with little hints of a bit of a reddish color to them, but never any with this deep, almost cherry red. Now, the real question here is where did this hydrothermal alteration occur? Where did water come in contact with this stone? Certainly, it could have happened after it landed on Earth. It wasn't a witnessed fall. We don't know exactly when it got here. But there's also the idea and maybe some evidence that suggests it was altered on the moon, which means water on the moon. We have lots of evidence building that there was water on the moon at various points and still could be. And this is one of those pieces of evidence. Again, analysis is ongoing here, but this could be one of the stones that helps prove that water was on the moon and where it was and what form it took and how it interacted with the geology of the moon itself. Samples of this stone are currently with the classifying scientists being looked at, so hopefully we get some more answers soon. For now, we know it's certainly lunar, but there's a lot still left to figure out with this one. In the meantime, I'm very fortunate to have this piece. It's a little over 120 grams. It's an end cut. It's actually the main mass of a single stone find. So there were a few slices cut of this and distributed to other collectors, but I have the biggest piece of it. I'm very fortunate to have that. It's really a prize point in my collection. If you like learning about space and maybe you want to own your own piece of space at some point, make sure to like the video and subscribe. I've got a lot of other Martian and lunar and other meteorites to show you as we continue learning together through the lens of these visitors from other worlds.